Hey there, my name is Aubrey and welcome to my channel. But first, I just want to give a quick shout out to Piper. Piper, thank you for your support and thank you for keeping me accountable. And Nancy, I'm with you. I'm ready to own my purpose. So if I were to ask you, who is that one person we spend the most time with, we eat with, we sleep with, 365 days, all day, every day, name that person. Or what about that person uh, we spend the most time with, yet we still can't seem to figure out who's that person. Now will it surprise you that it, that it could actually be the same person? It's, it's you, it's me, it's ourselves. But wait a minute, how can this be, Aubrey? I mean, I go to work with myself, I go to school with myself, I mean, I'm with myself every single day, 365 days. How is it possible that I still don't know who I am? Now this is a common reality, also kind of painful, but it's not an isolated feeling. How, how is that? Well, we know that because have you ever asked yourself or heard someone say, oh, man, I don't know what to do with my life. I don't know my purpose. I mean, I'm 55, 45, 35, whatever age it is. And I really expected more out of life. And the good thing is you're asking these types of questions, right? These are hard questions, but this is a great thing that, you, that, that you're even aware of, of asking these questions because I think it's something that's urging you, your inner self, to come back home to you. And I, and I tell you that it's worth it. And so if you're ready to start this marathon of getting to know who you are, well, all you really need, I think, to start off with is one powerful quality trait. And one simple question we can build on all right and so that powerful quality trait that we need is humility first we need to understand why it's necessary well it's because as humans we just have this natural tendency to have it all figured out right it's very normal very natural and really even when we don't have it all figured out uh, we kind of just like to play it off or not to show that we don't have it all figured out right because it's pride and vulnerability is really not comfortability. But the truth is, this idea of once we think we know everything, we really don't know anything, okay? All right, so let's get comfortable with that because as humans, we evolve. We're not designed to be constricted, but we're designed to be constructed and to be transformed into a dynamic person. Let's get comfortable with that reality. And just to be clear here, when I'm talking about, you know, knowing who we are, I'm not talking about, you know, what happened in the past, right? Or what's even happening right now, right? I'm talking about who we are in terms of what we have. Let me repeat myself. I'm talking about who we are in terms of what we have. Well, what do we have? Well, what we have is very specific and unique to each person. Right. And why? Why do I know this? Is because you are unique and you are a very beautiful person in your own way, right? Because you think about it, your potential is unique, unique. Uh, your, your dreams are unique, only you have access to that. And your superpowers, if you will, are very unique and specific to you and only you know the capacity of your inner self. And now let's dive into that, to that question, that one reflective question that can tie this in. But first, if you like what you're hearing, don't forget to press the like button, don't forget to subscribe. All right, so that one question is, what are your true values? Now this is tricky because sometimes we, we take on uh, the values of our parents, the people that we grow up with, our close friends and family, or even what the society views as values, right? But we, not being fully aware or not even, you know, just unknowingly, start living the values of other people values and standards but the more that we live them right the more our personal values are dimmed and the more that we actually pull away from our true self but how does humility now play a role in this well here's a tough question or here's a tough thing to to accept that sometimes we actually are in denial of our true values right because maybe we're just comfortable living this way because we live this way all all of, all of our lives right or we just want to fit in because this is how we fit in I mean, like, have you ever said yes to someone just to keep the peace, but then again, we aren't at peace with ourselves, right? Or how about, you know, just the idea of owning our values because we're scared of what we're truly capable of because it's going to involve maybe some really hard decisions. And then we start realizing hard truths like, 
oh man, uh, maybe this is why I'm just unhappy with uh, my relationships because you know we don't have the same values. Maybe this is why I'm un I'm unhappy because I'm putting up and, and I'm putting more time and effort uh, pursuing other people's uh, values and goals. This is making us feel uneasy. But don't worry, don't worry because it gets easier. Because I think once we had the value part out of the way, then you can start working on our goals, right? Then after your goals, you can start planning. Then after planning, you can start executing. And that's really the manifestation of your imagination. And that's a cycle that repeats itself. Your values are your anchor, right? That's your anchor. Um, now, but, but where do we get started? We can start by asking ourselves some really good questions now questions such as what would you be doing what would you be doing if there were no barriers or no consequences such as money or guarantee that there would be no shaming or suffering and, the, and this is a great question because it reveals what's stopping us right you know what do we what do we need to work on that's stopping us from doing what we value the most that's why it takes humility to be curious and to be authentic and to transform into our best self and working for you yourself is worth it because again you're unique and you are and you are beautiful in your own way you're, you're original and not traditional we have a lot of that already okay we need you to show up for you all right so I want to hear from you guys down below what are some ways that you do to know yourself a little bit more okay do you ask a trusted friend who's unbiased or do you take personalities tests right let us know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video uh, please share it subscribe and like also if you haven't seen my my intro video on why I love life coaching and life stories uh, go ahead and check it out right here I will see you again next time take care